Hi, welcome back to Impossible. Next up, I have Pisces. So, let's get to it, Pisces. Let's get to it. I have a lot of cards here. Let's get to it. Triggers. Some of y'all may be feeling like you're drowning right now. Um, too many things are triggering, triggering you at this moment. It may be um, things of the past. Mentally, um, you, know, you guys are up in the head. But, oh, wow, triggered about discovering something. Um, hmm. Something that you should have found out. It triggered you. But let's see what's going on here. Let's see. Okay, preservation. Who else had this? I think... Aries? I'm not sure. Some of y'all may be dealing with an Aries, but preservation. Okay. Um, somebody is still... Um, has thoughts about you. Have, them, have you in their heart. Um, but um, right now, you guys are focusing on yourself. Okay, going through a transformation, all right. But you guys already transformed. But I see courtship. Some of y'all may be date, dating someone um, opposite, um, not the same race. Um, some of y'all may be meeting someone that's not the same race. But yeah, somebody. But somebody's coming in that's gonna make you very happy. Um, you guys went through the transformation already. Preserving a oneself, self love, self worth. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Okay, um, let's continue. I have a lot of, okay, I have to clear this up because this is like, whoa. Okay, let's see what's the scoop here. Yeah, what's the scoop? Whoa, stubborn. Some of y'all may be dealing with a, a Taurus, Aquarius. <laughs> uh, someone is very stuck in their ways. Okay, yeah, very stubborn. All right, but angel numbers, pay attention, okay? You may be seeing a lot of numbers, synchronicities at this time, syncs, okay? So pay attention to the synchronicities. Your angels are trying to send you a, a message, okay? During this transformation process. So you guys already know about synchronicities and paying attention to the signs and stuff like that, right? Okay. Got rumors i think uh who's gemini got rumors but rumors okay there are rumors being spread about you but right now you're not you don't care about those rumors you're focusing on oneself okay but you because you got a new perspective on life you went through the transformation seeing things from a higher perspective enlightened okay ascending all right but meant to be wow courtship this relationship is magical it's meant to be so whoa fireworks some of you all may be meeting this person the fourth of july but this is gonna be like explosive okay yeah so let's check out the situations <laughs> all right it's a loose so yeah yeah you're taking a pause right now um to yourself self-reflection okay pause time and factor all right some of you all may like to eat um popcorn uh but yeah running avoiding somebody was uh racing running and avoiding a serious um stubborn set their ways uh, not wanting to confront a situation or talk about a, a serious topic. Um, but, yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. So, yeah, somebody is definitely recalling, having memories, reminiscing. Uh, but they want to return to this love. Okay. But right now, you guys are single. Uh, current status, single, doing your thing right now, all about your business. Uh, but happiness is definitely on the horizon uh, for you because uh, uh, yellow, this is going to start out as a friendship. Some of you all may have started out as friend, but courtship, wholeness, overjoyed, smiling. You make this person happy. You're this person's happiness, okay? But you guys are going to be very happy and content with what's coming in towards you, all right? Let's, uh, where are you? Okay.
Yeah. Whoa. Okay. So somebody is very. Um, somebody may be drinking too much at this moment. Uh, very much up in their head about this. Uh, want to come in? Want to speak to you? Um, some of you all may have been going through. Some of you all may have went through this um, spell where you was up in your head, depressed, overthinking, drinking, uh, excessively. Cut that out, please. But not all is lost because there's still two cups behind you. Okay. But with the two of cups here, uh, this symbolizes a soul connection. Uh, somebody happiness heading your way but you guys are heading towards your happiness um at this moment i see some of you all be becoming pregnant and sunflowers uh something significant about sunflowers some of you all may be receiving sunflowers but uh, a lot of happiness a lot of growth in business as well um uh, surrounding you but wow uh sun card is a sign of leo um yeah okay some of you all may be finding out that you're gonna that you're pregnant all right let's continue but yeah, but okay, so with the death card sign of Scorpio, uh, this came to an end. You put things to, to an end, but a rebirth, things coming alive again. You, you're getting a new perspective on life, yeah, with the four of cups. Somebody wants to offer you their cup of love, cup of, uh, yeah, but you're up your head and you're not taking any offers right now. Yeah, because of this betrayal that happened, okay, so you guys had to go through the healing process, a transformation. You ascended, so no more. You're not dealing with anybody's bullshit okay yeah uh with the magician uh gemini manifesting what you want but i see that this person is manifesting you back as well they're very up in their head about this wants victory with you but i see some type of engagement coming along here marriage engagement some type of happiness but promotion as well um job promotion uh yeah defeating your enemies okay yeah uh this possibly with the knight of wands started out sexual gemini aries you're so serious uh, in and out, in and out, not a steady um, commitment going on here. Yeah, but with the judge, uh, with the justice card, sign of Libra, uh, you guys um, decided to give you, you decided to give yourself justice and balance out your own scales. But this person is coming in to bring you justice. Uh, this person, if they're in a higher level relationship, I see uh, divorce on the horizon. If you in a higher relationship, I see divorce or separation. Okay, yeah, with the uh, Queen of Cups, you're sitting on your throne right now, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, but you're holding your cup, um, you're holding your cup of love, you're not revealing oneself, you're not giving away your cup of love like that, yeah, and with the Seven of Wands, you build a barrier around yourself, you're very defensive right now, okay, so you, you don't have time for bullshit, that's what I, I'm hearing, you, you're not with the, you're not with the bullshit, okay, um, yeah. Definitely, um, I see a person coming in court. It's going to make you very happy. This is going to be something that's meant to be. Yeah. With the devil card, this person had a lot of toxic ways, sign of Capricorn. Um, yeah. You had soul ties to this person. Okay. This was a burden on you. After this ended, it left you up in your head. But you realize there's still two cups behind you. Okay, yeah, you guys went through the hermit mode, sign of Virgo, a uh, uh, sign of self-discovery, okay, but you have people watching you at this moment, younger energies, page of cups, and page of coins, okay, um, yeah, <laughs> so, um, yeah, with the page of coins, somebody wants to come in and, um, you know, offer you something, uh, it's like a job, it could be a job offer, start small, and then turn out to be something big stabilize you but this is somebody that wants to come into to date to court okay and it's going to turn into something more page of cups uh this person another person wants to come in and apologize to you um yeah but you have people watching you at this moment okay yeah thinking about a way some of principles to invest uh in this connection um just watching you at the moment okay but with the king of wands um <laughs> This is a fire energy, Aries or Sagittarius. This person is very uh, handsome, beautiful, confident, knows what they want. They could be a player, uh, player type energy. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but um, this person is very passionate about you, coming with a lot of passion, a lot of passion. Okay. Yeah. So let me see some dead oracles here. Let's 
see what we can find out. Yeah, so you guys went through the spiritual awakening process. Okay, transformed. Ex-lover, broken. Can't be uh, replaced. Okay, yeah, breakup. So this person may be going through a breakup as well if this was a third party situation. But I don't see a third party sitting here uh, at this moment. But yeah, I see a breakup coming in. Um, yeah, but be prepared for a text message that's going to make you really happy. Um, a new love, texting back and forth. You know how it is in the beginning. Okay? And I see you guys having a family with this person. This is like uh, single. You guys are single. So, this is mainly for like a single reading. Yeah. This person may have a beard coming in. Yeah, awakening. Yeah. And this person that's coming that's coming in is going to be awakened like you. Okay? Yeah, but you're going to have a split energy about this. Should I, should not because of the hurt and pain. Okay? Destruction. Um, yeah. Uh, unexpected changes, new opportunities. All right? But Spirit is saying... Uh oh, see, somebody wants your forgiveness, but Spirit is saying, Forgive yourself, let it go. All right, focus on you and your self worth. All right, right now, you guys are tapping into your creativity, going for what you want. You're going to be victorious at the same time. But there's a twin flame coming in, and I see you guys having a family again. A twin flame coming in, and I see you guys having a family. interference so yes this for some of y'all this definitely was a third party situation and you decided to disconnect you went through the dark night of the soul and awakened went through your but somebody wants to come in with an apology but you took control of your life this person had a big ego but you put their ego to a death yeah spiritual awakening okay um this person um this person possibly was stuck in another connection all right but yeah was stuck in the past recalling reminiscing okay and manifesting at the same time this person is definitely manifesting but you're manifesting what you want as well so whoa okay so some of you all may be manifesting this person back they're coming and there's a new love coming in as well but yeah let's continue let me see what's the tea here about you see reminiscing mm -hmm. trying to find a way back especially at nighttime very nostalgic about you yeah happiness hater third person involved this may be a marriage a long term but i see a separation coming along um yeah but somebody doesn't want to see you guys together okay yep and they're up in their head about you can't get you out of their mind and get some working cards prioritize and focus so this is what you guys are doing focusing on oneself prioritizing and focusing on oneself and your goals now we are focused split energy leads to poor results prioritize your most important business tasks and get them done first okay it says rejuvenate okay so sit down take a break drink your coffee your tea relax business can be exhausting give yourself time to nourish your body and refresh your spirit with a deep sense of well-being funnel take the lead leads Okay, create a dynamic, uh, so some of y'all may be supervisors already or leaders at your job. Create a dynamic customer experience that nurtures prospects to become paying clients. Build a simple sales funnel. 
okay build somebody wants to build on this relationship but we be expecting a message okay build your email list and nurture your audience by staying in touch somebody definitely is going to be in touch with you and they want to collaborate with you um, but collaborate you know so collaborate with people that is in your field okay uh, business can be lonely find lucrative, lucrative ways to collaborate with others to build both of your brands okay yeah all right so let me get a moon card here expect powerful change wow yes whatever you manifesting expect powerful change definitely definitely whoa 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 okay let me pull from here self-love yep self-love and that's what you guys are doing self-worth self-love let me get a door card so you are learning that your capacity to love others is directly related to your ability to love yourself and this is what you're doing love yourself first and success whoa uh honor, honor your gifts and this is what you're doing and i see a lot of you are very successful very successful taking a lead very successful loving oneself let me get a question for you and then I'm ending this. <laughs> Must not shuffle this right. I gotta shuffle this right. This one. I picked the card, but these cards are stuck because that card came out before. Name all the things you love. Are you one of them? Self-love. So name all the things that you love and are you one of them? Okay. But I have to go. I love you guys. I'm possible. You're possible. You're NC Touch Tie. I'm out.